Hi, and welcome to Interdynamics Physical Therapy's YouTube channel. Today, we will demonstrate a quick and easy stretching routine performed against an empty wall. These are great ways to stretch your hips and pelvis with the added support of a wall. These stretches also allow for you to practice diaphragmatic breathing in a gentle and comfortable position. Begin by placing a yoga mat or towel up against a wall. You want the wall to be a flat surface without pictures hanging and enough room to move your legs side to side. I also suggest wearing socks so that your feet can slide and glide smoothly along the wall without any friction. This will allow for an increased stretch within the hips and pelvis as you practice. Once you're ready, face sideways so that one hip is touching the wall. Once you're ready, you're going to scoot your hips closer and closer to the wall. The closer the better. Then you're going to gently move both legs up and straighten your knees out. Bring both legs together and gently flex and point your toes. This will provide a stretch along your calves, your hamstrings, and it will also stretch your sciatic nerves. Continue breathing, wiggle your feet, and then gently move one leg out to the side. This will provide a stretch to the inner groin. In this position, you can practice diaphragmatic breathing. Hold here for three breaths and then move to the other side. Remember to keep breathing through your nose, filling up your rib cage and then your abdomen. When you're ready, bring both legs out simultaneously. This will provide a deep stretch to the groins as well as the pelvic floor. This is a great position to practice diaphragmatic breathing in. Then you can transition into a supported happy baby. You can use your arms to give additional support and an additional stretch to your hips and groin areas. Again, this is a perfect place to practice diaphragmatic breathing. When you're ready, you can then scooch back gently to give yourself a little more room. You're gonna come into a figure four stretch. This will provide a stretch to your piriformis muscles and your glutes and a little bit of your sciatic nerve. You can also play around with straightening your leg and bending your leg as it'll provide different stretches to different muscles. You'll want to do these on both legs to keep everything in perfect balance and harmony. You'll want to hold each stretch for the recommended time by your physical therapist. It's important that you don't hold your breath and it's also important that you don't push yourself too hard. Remember, stretching is supposed to be productive. If you're causing yourself too much pain or you're pushing too hard, this will disrupt your cycle of becoming pain-free.